Well, the prospect of a rail line to Melbourne Airport has been revived yet again. There's speculation the federal budget will allocate some funds to kickstart the long-awaited project. Politicians love talking about an airport rail line but never do anything about it. It was actually a shock that Melbourne doesn't have a train station that goes to the airport. I would definitely use uh, public transport to get out to the airport. The federal budget is tipped to have at least some planning money in it. You need to have more mass transit. You need to have more, more rail. The state government supports the train line, but... We have to deliver the metro tunnel first. It's the project that unlocks the bottleneck. Entrepreneur Peter O'Brien is pushing his driverless monorail vision to go up the middle of the Tullamarine Tollway. Every four minutes, on the shortest run, 15 minutes express, Solar powered, silent, rubber tired, privacy glass. The opposition is even open to it being sky rail. If there's no level crossing removals out to the airport and an elevator rail is an option, sure, we'd look at it. Airport management says a detailed feasibility study is needed now because it could take about a decade to design and construct a rail line over the 23 kilometres. Airport passenger numbers are expected to rise to 60 million in 2033, putting even more pressure on the road network and car parking. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.